Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we'll talk about HDR and why it's a very useful thing that you can enable on your camera. Again, you can take a HDR based photographs with your smartphones and even uh, uh, with DSLRs and stuff. So what does this HDR stands for? It stands for high dynamic range. So what does that mean? Look at the word high dynamic range it's all about the dynamic range that you can get with your pictures and what do you mean by dynamic range first let's talk about that dynamic range is nothing but the brightest part in your images and the darkest part of the images the difference between them the higher that is the better details you have in the image and they look more uh, real uh, lifelike for example, if you uh, take the pictures normally uh, and in you know, an environment where there is sort of bright light and also sort of dark areas, you uh, notice that the cameras tend to actually uh, pay much attention to one area that is maybe low lighting or the bright light area. Other uh, parts of the image get sort of blown out or they are very dull. But with the HDR, what happens is that cameras generally take multiple pictures for example what do they actually do they take multiple pictures generally they take about three odd pictures one with the low exposure one with the normal exposure and one with the high exposure so and they what they do is with software they combine these uh, three images into one and that produce a better dynamic range picture and some smartphones these days, most of the high-end uh, phones also have the uh, HDR uh, enabled by auto. So it judges if the HDR is required, it enables uh, it or it disables it automatically. For example, uh, if I recall, uh, the Galaxy S7 also has the auto HDR enabled. And in fact, the Google Pixel uh, has the HDR plus option, which results in a very good dynamic range pictures. And I have to say, one of the best pictures that I've seen from a smartphone camera in terms of dynamic range was uh, due to this Pixel. And I'll talk about that, uh, how Pixel does it a little bit different compared to other smartphones. And uh, before that, let me actually give you some examples of pictures taken in normal mode and HDR mode so that you can easily see the difference. This picture was shot in the non-HDR normal mode and notice the left part of the picture where the natural light is coming. It's sort of overblown and here I enabled HDR and as you can see it has a lot more detail and this picture is a lot better compared to this older one. Now here again notice the right side area where the pots are there. This is non-HDR mode and here I enable the HDR so you can see a lot more detail and better dynamic range with HDR compared to the older one as you can see. Now in this picture, this is non-HDR and here I enable the HDR. Just notice the dynamic range. In this uh, last example, uh, this was taken with the pixel and this is uh, in normal non-HDR and here I enable the HDR. And as you can see, it made a dramatic difference in the picture. So as you can see, HDR brings out the life in the pictures in terms of the dynamic range. Otherwise, uh, in uh, very contrasty situations where there's a lot of bright light and uh, uh, dull light, uh, the pictures look to be washed out. That is solved by HDR. And now let's talk about uh, uh, the HDR plus option on this Pixel smartphones and what they do differently. By default on these new Pixel phones, HDR plus is the default mode and what google does is that instead of uh, with normal hdr generally smartphones take three exposure one is a low exposure one is a normal exposure and third is a higher exposure and they mix it to get better dynamic range but what uh, pixel does is it also employs same logic but instead of just taking about three pictures uh, it said that a uh, google pixel actually when there's a bright area when you're taking the pictures it takes almost between 15 to 20 pictures when you click a photograph. Yes, 15 to 20, for example, this is the, I'm taking this picture and it took it and indirectly it has taken about 15 or 20 pictures. And now what it does is using the software, it combines all those pictures to give you one picture. Hence, it has a lot more pictures to work. That's why the HDR plus images uh, taken with Google Pixel look a lot more sharper and natural. That's the secret thing uh, that Google employs and it relies heavily on software to get that effect. Even in low lighting conditions, uh, it takes about between two, four to six snaps. Hence, even in low lighting, the 
pictures that we take with the Pixel have a lot more detail compared to other camera. So needless to say, this HDR is a very good uh, technology. And if you're particularly taking pictures in very contrasty area where there's a lot of bright light and dull light, it's advisable to switch on HDR mode. Thus, you can get some better pictures. I hope this uh, video was uh, helpful. And again, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. I've also created another channel in Hindi. I'll have the link for that. So if you are interested in videos in Hindi, you can also subscribe to that channel. So guys, that's it for now for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.